Make sure I'm distance. All right, we're live. Hello, hello. I am so excited you guys are here with me today. I, I appreciate that. Um, yes, you guys come and you listen. And I love the chat beforehand. That makes me laugh out loud every time. So I'm glad that you're here. Welcome to my kitchen. Um, yes, one of the most common things I get is my pork roast didn't turn out. I don't know how to cook a roast. I need some help. So I thought I would just clear the air a little and I'm going to just kind of teach you, show you how I like to make pork roast because I don't like mine. Um, what's the word for it? Not tender. Yeah, I like it tender. I like it juicy. I like it tender. I like it easy that you can rip into. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So welcome, welcome. Okay. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and put down below. If you haven't followed me very long, put it in the chat. Or if you're live, put it in the live chat. I'm curious if you're new or put if you've been here a while. I'm curious how long some of you have been on here. So I've been on uh, three years. I, I have done a video almost every single week for the last three years. So I love YouTube. I'm just so happy to be here. Okay, really quick, huge announcement because I'm super excited. Um, if you guys noticed, YouTube came out with something called YouTube Shorts. And it's these 60 second clips. And I've been doing a lot of research on it because I wanted to, to get you guys the shorts, but I wasn't sure what to do if I should put it on this channel. Um, but after talking with a lot of instructors and people, they suggested to start a new channel. So you guys started a new channel. We're still playing around with it. I'm not sure the direction I want to go with it yet, but if you type in six sisters shorts, that's our new channel. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. So if you're bored today and you want to subscribe to a new channel, Six Sister Shorts, and I love it just because I'm, I'm going to post three times a week, just super fast, easy recipes um, that are like 60 seconds or less. So if you need some ideas for the week with food or desserts, or I'm, I don't know what I'm going to cook on there for you yet, but 60 seconds. So I'm super excited. All right, guys. Let's talk about pork roast, shall we? Now I kind of cheated. I already put it in here so I wouldn't have to have, you know, the pork roast hands, all nasty. So I put my pork roast in here, hopefully you can see it. There we go. And then I put a tablespoon of olive oil in and then I kind of just mix my pork roast around just so the olive oil is, is co coating the pork roast. Okay, now I'm gonna make a little bit of, of spices to go on top of it. So we'll scoot this over here. Now you don't have to make this. You could actually just make this with like water, chicken broth, add a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic, whatever you want. But I'm making some sort of carnitas, which I love when there's flavor to my pork roast. Um, I also have a few on there where I make like a Dr. Pepper pork roast. If you want to, you can search that up, type in Instant Pot, Dr. Pepper, pork roast, six sister stuff. It'll come up. That's one of my favorites if you want like a pulled pork but I'm making carnitas today because it's probably my favorite thing to make with a pork roast. So I'm gonna put this together and then we'll talk about the system of how I exactly do the pork roast. So this is three pounds if you're wondering, sorry, I forgot to say that. And then I'll just add some spices. So we have two teaspoons, teaspoons? Making sure I got that, yep, teaspoons, okay. Two teaspoons of salt and then one teaspoon of cumin and then the rest are just half teaspoons. So we have Chili powder, a half teaspoon. This is paprika. I like smoked papri paprika. It's half a teaspoon. And then just a half a teaspoon of pepper. So those are my spices. We're just gonna mix this up a little bit. And we're gonna just dump it onto the pork roast. Now this pork roast came in a package where it was in half. So there's actually two pork roasts but you can have a big thick one and we'll, we'll talk about that as we go. But just if you're wondering, mine are, there's two, two small ones in here that got cut. So I'm just gonna pour this in a little bit. And then I would usually use my hands and mix it all together, make that go around all the pork roast. But because I'm not gonna go wash them real quick, I'm just gonna use a fork and kind of just mix my pork roast around. I mean, in the end, it will all be sitting in the juice later. So it's okay. Now, right now I am, I am not very good at seeing all the comments and I apologize for that. So if you have a question, maybe leave it for the last few minutes and then type in your question then, and then I can get to it just because I am blind as a bat when things are far away from me. So yes, okay, kind of mixed it around. I'd probably do it a little better with my hands, but it's fine. 
Okay, now before we cook it, of course we need some liquid. So I'm gonna add one cup of orange juice. So we're just gonna pour that into the bottom. Now it's a liquid, so it will pressurize it. Oh, that makes it taste so good with that orange juice. Now it's probably a little more than a cup, but that's okay. Then I'm just gonna do two cloves of garlic. So I'm just gonna do like two teaspoons here. I love garlic on my pork roast. And then I'm, I just cut an onion into fourths and we'll just put that right on top. Here we go. All right, making sure I got everything. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take the lid, put it on. And you're gonna push the pressure cook button or manual button, okay? Before I do that, actually, let's talk. Let's talk pork roast for a minute. So, my secrets, are you ready? I love to put my, take my pork roast, make it in the morning, set the timer for just normal, and then I let it sit there all day on keep warm for like six to eight hours. So if you work or if you have a really crazy schedule, I love doing pork roast in the morning because that's what makes it nice and tender. It's just been sitting in those juices, just keeping warm. It's almost, this is how I would almost do like a slow cooker, but this is how I'm turning the Instapot into a slow cooker because the slow cooker function, mm -mm, not good, but you can have it keep warm and it's like a slow cooker all day. So that's my secret, you guys. So if you cook, I like to do anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. If it's frozen, make sure you hit that higher end of 90 minutes. Um, it will cook. Yeah, you wanna make sure it's cooked all the way through. Um, if it's like three pounds, I usually go 60. Any higher, I try and go 90. If it's frozen, everything's 90 or even higher. And then I just let it sit there all day. I'm telling you, just try it once and you'll never go back. Yes, you can. As soon as it's done, you can let it release on its own. That's what I suggest. And then open it up. It's just not gonna be as tender and juicy. Like it needs to just have some time to just rest and sit and cook a, a little bit longer to be more tender. So hopefully that helps you guys as we're cooking. So now my roast, because it's three pounds, but it's actually cut into two. So it's only about, about a pound and a half. I'm still gonna cook it for 60 minutes because I want it nice and tender. So that's what we're gonna do. Scooch that over. Then I have this price for you. Okay, pressure cook. Oh, it's already set to a minute. And so I just have to, yep, as soon as you set your timer, you can kind of just walk away. Now, if you have a little knob, make sure you turn it to ceiling, not venting, and then you guys are good. Okay, I have another one that's all ready to go because I wanted to show you the finishing, putting it on the ground. Oh, you know, because I'm classy that way. You guys know that. Okay, I'm excited for this one. So this is my eight quart. Duo crisp, you guys, the next little bit, I'm gonna be talking more about the Instant Pot Duo Crisp and I'm super excited. Um, I've been trying to use it more and learn more recipes. So those that have one, you can use it. And if you don't have one, you can use different things too. So we're gonna to, to go through the steps. So I cooked this early this morning. I did, it didn't rest in there as long as I wanted it to, but it shredded nice and good. That's, yeah. It's good, it's good. Okay, so I'm gonna put these to the side for a sec. Now, because they're carnitas, sometimes I like to have them a little crispy on the edges. So you have a few options. So if you don't have a duo crisp, you can get a sheet pan and put all your meat onto the sheet pan and then broil it for just like a minute or two, okay? Um, just make it a little crispy on the edges, it makes it so good. But if you're new to the duo crisp, I wanna kind of like, show you guys what I do. So I'm gonna make sure this is off. Here we go. So we're gonna push, cancel. There we go. Okay, do a crisp guys. Woo! So usually I would drain out this liquid just because I want it um, just to get the, to the tops kind of. So we, it's not gonna get everything because obviously the air fryer is not ginormous, but it'll still work. So usually you're going to drain out as, mo as much liquid as you can. Um, you can save it too and then drizzle it over if you like, but okay, I'm gonna put this on. There we go. I'm gonna come to the other side so I can see a little better. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do the broil. So we're gonna do broil. Um, it only goes up to 400 degrees. That's one bad thing about this. There's other air fryers that I'm gonna talk about later in February that go up a little higher, but it only goes to 400. Now I'm gonna set it just for 10 minutes and push start and you can already hear it. Can you hear it start? There we go. And then the nice thing is with the air fryer, if ever you need to check on things, 
you can easily just lift open the lid. It will turn off for a little bit. You can check saying, okay, we don't want to burn it. That is not the purpose. We just want it a little crispy. You can check on things, then you put it back on and it will start back up again. It pauses the timer and then it starts it again when you get going. So love this. I'm super excited for it. Super excited. So um, I would just go a few minutes till you till it's like the, the crispiness that you like. Yeah, it kind of depends on what you like. But I'm going to turn this off right now. We're going to pretend it's all nice and air fried and I guess broiled, excuse me. Um, cancel. Here we go. Because I just want to show you the finishing. Okay, so that's kind of, hold on, I'm going to put it in the right spot. Don't want to burn my counter. But when you have these little carnitas, I have them on little tortillas. Let's pretend it's nice and broiled and crispy. And then just put them on your tacos. Now, I love serving these with like fresh salsa. That is my most favorite food is salsa. Actually, I have lots of favorite foods, but salsa is one of them. And then, yeah, whatever you guys like on top of your tomatoes, I like to add a little cilantro, maybe a little bit of feta cheese, but whatever you guys like. Okay, Ooh, I'm making just a little bit of a mess, but it's worth it because it's so good. Okay, that is it. Easy, easy pork roast, made it into carnitas. I love it too, because you can make even like, put a lot of pork roast in here, cook them all and then shred them up and you can put them in your freezer. Like pork is very forgivable in the freezer. So you can, if you have a busy, busy week, you can make this and this will serve you for lots of meals. Okay, I got a few minutes here. So I'm gonna jump in, answer any questions that you have. Um, in case you missed the big announcement, we started a new YouTube channel. It's called Six Sisters Shorts. You guys, I want to hit a thousand subscribers today. That is my goal. So if you're bored and you want to go check out our new channel, it's just 60 second quick, easy videos to help you guys get dinner on the table faster or, you know, desserts because they're my favorite. Okay. Let's see if I can answer any of these questions. If you have questions, even if you asked one before, put it in the chat right now and I'll try and jump on. Um, let's see, bear claws, buy on Amazon. Yep, bear claws are my favorite thing. I use them all the time. Um, let's see. Try and read them. Okay, different types of rice cooked at different amounts of times. You're right, rice is a little bit different. If you type in, um, in YouTube search, Six Sisters Stuff Rice, I've done a lot of rice videos. So if you need some help, watch those and those can help you. Um, repeat the spices, please. When I'm done here, I'll put it down in the comments for you, or you can go to our website, Six Sister Stuff. Um, I believe these are slow cooker carnitas. I am pretty sure. Um, it's the same ingredients. I just changed it so I could put it into the instant pot, but I'll, when I'm done here, actually, after I'm done getting my daughter from preschool, I'll come put those in for you. Um, can you make this with a pork tenderloin? You can. Um, Pork tenderloins aren't as tender, which is funny because that's the name of them. But if you let them rest for a while, it will be okay. It'll still taste good. Um, when would you use the trivet? So I don't use, I don't use my trivet very often. I'll be completely honest with you. Sometimes when I cook eggs, I use the trivet. Or if I cook um, things that I don't want on the bottom of the Instant Pot. But for the most part, I, I love just throwing everything in and cooking and not having to worry about one more thing that I need to wash. So there are some recipes, but for the most part, I, I'll explain it in the YouTube video if I'm using the trivet majority of the time I'm not. Um, can you please do a clam chowder? I have done, you guys. Okay, Instant Pot Disneyland clam chowder. Go to the YouTube, go search that up, Six Sister Stuff. Their clam chowder is my favorite. Did I add cumin? Yes, I did. It was one teaspoon of cumin. Um, how would you do beef roast? I do beef the same as I do pork. So I do it. Ugh, it's hard because instant pot says you can do it in 45 minutes. You can't. Okay. It's, it's tough and it's kind of nasty. And so I always go 60 minutes or more, no matter how big the roast is. Um, but my secret with roast too, you put it in, in the morning, you let it sit and it will, it's, it's so much better. Um, what size of roast you can do, let's see, so that was three pound. I think you can do up to seven pound pork, depending if you, you could cut it up a little bit and fit a lot of pork or roast in there. Um, okay. Three pork, three pound pork roast, 60 minutes, unfrozen. 
90 minutes of frozen. Yep, Rob, that's what I would, that's what I would do, but let it sit all day or at least sit for like two hours. If you don't have all day, um, this is not one of those recipes that you want to, okay, I only have an hour before we're hungry. This is not one of those. Like if you're going to do pork or a roast, do it right and give it a few hours to sit. It just tastes so much better. Okay. Oh, some people, Diane, you got your book today. You guys, we heard from, <laughs> we heard from Amazon, Amazon, I think that's what happened. They misplaced something and now they found a lot of the books. So they said in the next week or two, all our books should be delivered. So if you pre-ordered, it's coming, it's coming so soon. Um, okay, will the Duo Crisp lid fit on any Instant Pot? It actually will not. You have to buy the Duo Crisp Instant Pot, but there's something called the Milfy lid. And I'm gonna review that in February. So you guys, can see, you know, cause you can use that lid on any instant pot. So you don't have to buy, you don't have to buy a brand new one. So that's kind of, I'm gonna show you. So hopefully you can save money so you don't need another instant pot and in, if you don't want any. Okay, how much liquid? You have one cup, I used orange juice. Um, anyone ever done a roast in the six quart? Yes, all the time, all the time. Do it just like I would the pork. Um, let's see, I have a chicken breast, I wanna cook it. Um, tonight, is there a way to do the leftover broth for soup the next day? Yes, I always, I not always, I love saving my broth after I've cooked chicken. I just put it in a container, stick it in the fridge and then use it in the next few days or so. It's my favorite. It also freezes very well. Um, sorry. Oh, someone says, I love my milky lid. Perfect. I am so excited. I just got one, just opened it up and I'm excited to, to try it out. Um, cauliflower rice. I, you can do it. I love to cook cauliflower rice on my skillet. So it makes it the texture of rice. My kids eat it a lot easier. Um, will you show an air fryer recipe? Um, I do have an air fryer and I'm dabbling with the idea just because air fryers doing, yeah, so many people are asking for the air fryer. So I'm hoping to do some air fryer recipes in the instant pot to kind of show both and then just plain, some plain air fryer recipes too. Um, okay. Victor, we love Six Sister stuff. I'm so glad. And I know your name is not Victor. I think that's, you're using your son's name. I think that's what you said last time. Okay, when you say let it sit, do you mean on warm? Yes, so when it's done cooking, we'll automatically go to keep warm and it will stay on keep warm for 10 hours. So you have 10 hours after it's done cooking to come back and then it will turn off and then it will slowly start to cool down. So Kristen, do you have to preheat the Instant Pot? No. You do not have to. If you're in a rush and you need it to um, pressurize faster, I would just start, I push the saute button just so it can heat up a little faster, but usually you don't have to. Um, do you have any low sodium recipes? Now lots of the recipes, I get lots of questions like low sodium, low carb. Um, lots of times you can change my recipes a little bit and just use low sodium ingredients. So there's a thought there um, if you ever need some low sodium. Um, I'm not going to make them all low sodium, but you can change a lot of the ingredients yourself to make it into low sodium. Okay. I'm trying to think. Okay, just a quick repeat the recipe, please. <laughs> when this is done, you guys will be able to see it. I can't remember all the spices because I had to look at like I had to look at it to literally know what it was. So I wish I had it memorized. I'm so sorry. But when this is done, you'll be able to find it. Okay. What else do you use pork roast for besides carnitas? So I, I said before, I love pulled pork. That's my favorite. Um, I love putting, you can even put your carnitas in enchiladas. That's what I do a lot with the leftovers. Um, I just make enchiladas the next day. So yes, it's kind of the same meat, but it's a little bit different and my kids are better with it. Um, can I move up to Utah and be your neighbor? Christy, yes, you can. I actually give a lot of my food to my neighbors because um, sometimes I have too much, especially on crazy cooking days. So Come, come to Logan. It's a wonderful place. Um, okay, just got my cookbook. Did the first recipe, honey soy pork chops. Awesome. I have never done pork chops. That was actually one of my sister's recipes. So maybe that's what I'll make next week. See how it goes. All right. I'm trying to think. Made chicken noodle soup. Awesome. Okay. So what's the benefits of letting it release on its own? So usually they say bigger, bigger cuts of meat, have it released on its own just so it has time to like, Yes, what's the word? Relax, I guess. So if, yeah, it just is better. It makes the meat more tender. So I usually don't do it with my chicken. 
but usually on roasts or pork, those big meats I usually do. Okay. What size roast for a six quart? So I did a three pound roast in a six quart. That's plenty of meat for us. Um, it can go all the way up to seven pounds. You just have to cut your roast. If it doesn't fit, just make sure you cut it and it will fit in as long as it doesn't go past the max line. You can fit as much meat in there as you want. Okay, can you explain the Duo Crisp? I do have a video about the Duo Crisp. Just type it in in Google, in Google, excuse me, on YouTube, and you'll be able to find it. Um, can't find the new channel. Dang it. So I haven't done a header or anything for it yet. It's just called Six Sisters Shorts. So if you go to the community tab, I think in this one, um, I have a link to that. I'll, I'll put a link down below in the description too. So new channel, Six Sisters Shorts. Go subscribe because I want to hit a thousand subscribers today. <laughs> It's the little things, right? That just like, oh, come on. Anyways, okay. Well, you guys are wonderful. Thank you so, so much for coming and joining me on this live. And I hope you have a great week, but I got to head out. I'll see you guys later. Bye.